YouTube, I'm back in the gym again today for a leg, shoulders and chest workout. I started the workout off with seated leg press, warmed up with just a plate aside, did a total of six sets, and the heaviest weight I did today, I think it was about 600 or 620 pound, kept the reps pretty high, did between 15 and 20 reps. I like to warm up when I'm doing legs, uh, hence why I do start off so light. I don't feel like, with me at least, like I don't want to dive straight under six, 650, 700 pounds straight away. I like warming my legs up, warming my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads up, ready for the heavy weight. I like to get a full stretch, full range of motion too. It's not for everybody, some people like coming down a quarter, some people like going straight into heavy uh, like pressing or squatting heavy just for me I feel it, it, I get more benefit doing this so hence why I do quite a lot of sets I mean this was my fifth set this is with five sets and this is my heaviest set this is actually a PR for me uh, with the 10 and the 2.5 on so I was really pleased with this I got a total of around 10 reps of this uh, like I said it's not particularly much to brag about because this leg press isn't as hard as the one I used to use but I'm still happy nevertheless with it then I moved on to dumbbell shoulder press. Again, total of around five to six sets. Started off with the 20k dumbbells and built up to doing the 32s. Rep range, anything between 12 and 15 reps. Trying to keep constant tension on my shoulder muscles. Trying to take my triceps out as much as possible. I'm not a lover of dumbbell shoulder press, to be honest. I, I do prefer the hammer strength uh, in terms of like, actually feeling it in my shoulders. But you do run out of exercises to do. So that's kind of why I do it, to be honest. In future, I might just stick to hammer strength. Then I moved on on to hamstring curls total of four sets uh, rep range anything between again 15 and 20 21 something around there kept it pretty high on hamstrings i don't i feel like i don't need to go as heavy as i do to actually feel it in my hamstrings it's far better for me at least to lighten the weight go for a pump and that way i'm feeling it properly in my hamstrings whenever i go too heavy my form gets a bit dodgy and i don't end up feeling it so no one's a winner there then i moved on to some side lateral raises i apologize for the poor quality footage it's just the lights were everywhere in uh, in the gym today the lights were it just ruined a lot of the shots this, this was the best they could get uh, i did a total of side lateral raises of six or seven sets heaviest amount was ever using the 15s which isn't a lot of weight but for me at least the heavier a go the more my traps get involved in the movement and i'm just not working my side delt and i want to work my side delt so i lighten the weight do anything between 15 and probably 25 reps and get a nice good pump and a good squeeze in my side delt then moved on to standing calf raises not my favourite machine, but the one that I do like was Tuck. So it's kind, of, it's not a bad, um, it's not a bad backup. Again, four sets, pretty much about eight to 15, 17 reps. Then I moved on to hammer strength shoulder press. Like I mentioned before, this probably is my favourite shoulder exercise, to be honest. I actually feel it re a awful lot. get a nice, good pump right behind the back of my neck, and I feel it properly in my shoulders, unlike with dumbbells. If dumbbells just don't do it for me, and I probably will abandon it at some point, to be honest, because I don't think I, get, I feel like I get enough out of it, but... It is where it is. And then I finished off with some flat barbell bench press. I've been doing bench press every day this week uh, in an attempt to get my strength up. And so far, it's gone okay. Got eight with na uh, with 90, but I wanted a bit more than that. But you can't have everything, I guess. Uh, and I also finished off with some arms, so I apologise for not uploading that. But that was my workout for today. Thanks for watching, and thanks for the support.